Go Nichiwa Amina, this is Sakura, and you're watching PokeCast. Today's 10 minute first impressions can be on a PS3 game, and this is the sixth uh, installment of the Pac Man Museum. And the game that we'll be featuring is personally one of my favorite Pac Man games out there Pac Attack. What happens when you take Pac Man and you take Tetris and put it together? You get Pac Attack. Just downright one of the coolest concepts I've I've seen and merging two styles of games together and this is truly going to be a fun one to show you guys I'm excited to see just uh, what graphics this uh, one's going to have since uh, obviously the, each one's been an arcade edition it's going to be fun to be able to play the arcade edition um, and you know show you guys one of my favorite pac-man alternate games that have come out and that i've just fallen in love with because of how the game is so as always 10 minutes to play the game first time playing the game or version thereof and i can't skip anything are always the rules now let's get that timer started for i can show you guys one just my favorite pac-man game when it comes to alternate ways to play pac-man timer has been started and Oh. Okay, so slightly better graphics than the Super Nintendo version. Normal puzzle mode and that mode. Uh, normal mode, thank you. <laughs> Hi, pet. Normal, please. All right, so basically, like I said, this is Tetris. The whole concept is you want to get as many ghosts as you can, drop down the Pac-Man, and have the Pac-Man eat as many ghosts as possible. And that's why I personally love this version of Pac-Man. Because it adds some of my favorite versions of games together to make an awesomeness. And this is definitely one of those I can just play over and over. And basically you have to make sure you put the Pac-Man together correctly. For when you drop him, he goes to where he needs to be. And he'll always eat the first one going down. And then the game starts to get harder. And that was so my fault. Dang it. And now is when the game starts getting pure evil because I just totally messed up. Good. And this is basically what you have to keep on doing, is you have to find ways. But because I'm taking too long to eat enough ghosts, the game likes to speed up and try to kill you as fast as they can. No, that was bad. That was even worse. Good, I can get rid of some of my lines, just not all of them that I need to get rid of. Now 
There we go. And that was really bad. I'm going to die. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I put that in wrong. There we are. Okay. Nice. That was a better one. <sighs> Not good. Thank you. All right. And that's why you have to eat as much ghost as you can. It's very important. And sorry, it's getting hard to talk because, well, I'll have to try and play Tetris game. And I'm not doing very good at the Tetris game. Okay, there we are. Fundaba. Or not. <laughs> Let's come eat a couple of those ones, get them out of the way. Crap, this is getting bad. Okay, that was actually pretty good that time. So you now you can see why I find this to be a fun game is because it really does add um some major play elements to the game and I am just not doing good and there goes the game and of course the ghosts have to laugh at me but I didn't do too bad wow I didn't do bad too bad at all I did actually quite swell Wow. I got to level 23? Huh. Awesome. Ghost Eden. Nice. Yes, we're just gonna focus on this. Okay. That's why it's important to try and... Build your ghost up to where they can be eaten as many as you can get at the same time, but be able to get as many of these away as possible. And that's what makes the game twice as hard. Oh, I, okay. I always forget about that. The way he's facing on the piece is the way he will eat. That is so my bad.
Like, this Pac-Man is going to eat the wrong way, so I just have to drop him. Mm, that was not good. Hmm. It really is, this is all you can do while playing the game. Is you have to make that hard decision. Okay, oh no. Oh, and there goes my timer. So, uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed seeing, like I said, my personal opinion, one of the coolest ideas they've had for a Pac-Man game thus far. I mean, you know, we've had all kinds of amazing games come out um, that have deviated from the original Pac-Man idea, but I think this is one of the coolest ideas that when they decided to uh, take two games and see how they can put it together as you saw the game itself is not easy at all and you have to try and eat as many ghosts as you can and it just gets harder and harder because you have to be careful how you do stuff and you also have to watch the way the pac-man's facing Otherwise, you have problems like me and completely forget about that. But, just absolutely astounding game. Um, I have this for my Game Boy Advance. I have it, I believe, on my GameCube, PS2, and now I have it on for my PS3. I am very excited, and it's one of the games that I feel needs to have a... a re-release with a full-blown, you know, trophy-supported version of the game for the PlayStation Vita. I think it'd be a fantastic one to be able to be put onto there with a whole new game behind it and a Platinum. Okay, doesn't need a Platinum because then it'd be impossible to get, but you know what I'm saying. Out of all the games I've played so far, it is the one game I personally feel deserves a re-release uh, as a single release with more being added on to help the game be that much better. So I hope you guys have enjoyed seeing my favorite Pac-Man alteration, if you will, and hopefully it will you know, help you guys decide if it's worth playing because I highly recommend this one. It's is one of the coolest ones. And if you can get this uh, on any of the systems, I highly recommend it. Pick it up for the platform you uh, enjoy playing it on. It is totally worth it. This is Tisa Kura saying ciao and sayonara.